Hi there. One of the training tools that we use to, to help the athletes get faster is the Speedo Biofuse Power Paddle. Uh, we use this in training for a variety of, of different stimuluses. As you can see by these ones, these are the big ones, there's different sizes. Liam has the medium wave limb, Liam has the medium size on, and that's probably a size that suits Liam a little bit better because he has little pygmy hands. Um, that you use these for upper body strength in swimming, or a lot of swimmers do. Um, it obviously provides extra resistance on the upper body. It can help with your distance per stroke as you swim down the lane. And it can also be used with a variety of other different Speedo products, as we'll show you later on. The predominant use for these, though, is to improve upper body strength and distance per stroke. Either swimming with these or using, for example, the Speedo pool boy between the legs. It's a bit of a common misconception that the pool boy and people just using a pool boy is a resistance form of training for the arms. Actually just using the pool boy alone without the, the biofuse paddles is, is actually an easier way of swimming. It lifts up the, the body, makes the hips higher in the water, stops the legs dragging along the floor. And certainly someone like Liam uses it a lot for a lot of his lower level aerobic training. He's able to swim more meters more comfortably by using a pool boy. It's actually very rare to see Liam without a pool boy or his fins on. Isn't it Liam John? Love the kit. Love a kit. Loves his kit. However, going back to the paddles, um, the easiest way to use them is for distance per stroke. So we tend to do it with a pool boy and the paddles, which Liam will demonstrate in a second. You can also use them in the swimming stroke. You can also use them with the fins. We tend to use the power paddles a lot for as the name suggests, power training, whereby we use the fins and the paddles and we swim at above race pace. Uh, we sometimes use little yellow beepers to keep the stroke rate at race rate, but you can swim an awful lot faster with fins and paddles. Just imagine seeing like your scuba diver people uh, in the movies than we can just with our hands and our feet. So it gives the, the body an extra stimulus at swimming super fast. Uh, we can also use them for technique in terms of working a high elbow catch with the paddle uh, and maybe alternating so you have a fin, one fin and one paddle in your training. That might be a fin on your left foot and a paddle in your right hand and you're actually working your uh, diagonal strength if you like and trying to keep the stroke nice and balanced. You can also use these paddles as a I guess a forearm type drill, this is something we've been using recently in terms of actually holding the paddle. So don't put the fingers and the wrists into the straps, just holding the paddle over the end, putting the, the force, if you like, through the forearm onto the paddle. So you're kind of increasing the area of the forearm rather than just the hand. When you do swim, particularly the freestyle type stroke, a lot of people just think, well, I'm pulling with my hand. You're not, you're pulling with whatever surface area you're presenting on the water. And a lot of the time, that's the forearm and the hand. Now, if we were to hold the paddle like this and try and swim, it's almost like doing a fist drill whereby you lose the feel of the water in the hand, but you gain an awful lot of uh, power through using the forearm. So that's a more advanced way to do it. You can do that again with either just a pool boy between the legs or just swimming or again with the fins. Paddles of this size, so the power paddle, can also be used in kick sets. You could use it to almost look at the size of this one. I can pretty much sit on this and surf. But you could actually lie out on this uh, paddle like so and side kick along using this paddle for balance. So there's many different ways to use the Speedo Biofuse paddle, more than just than what it says on the tin probably. Now you guys will be just as creative as me and can probably come up with another 10 different things. But hopefully that'll give you something to get started on. Okay, Liam, so we're just going to work on the distance per stroke. So if you can pop the pull boy in, as well as using the power paddles. Just swim with a nice balanced stroke, working on the distance per stroke, and trying to get that nice high elbow on the freestyle technique. 